The most famous landmark in Paris, the Tour de Fel, completed in 1889, is a real tourist magnet. It was also the venue for a charity initiative by French doctors campaigning for life-saving heart operations around the world. Visitors were amazed to see an LTM 1306.2 hoist a sailing boat onto the first story of the Eiffel Tower. Previously, an extreme sportsman had sailed the seven seas in the boat for 80 days. Despite strong winds, the boat, weighing five tons and 18 meters long, was safely hoisted onto the tower. Welcome to our third edition of Upload. Today we're in the Swabian Alps at our test track. And with me here is our new power pack, the LTM 1124.1, with a special USA look for its premiere at the Can Expo in Las Vegas. And today we're going to see what it can do. So let's go. Hi, Florian. Hi, Martin. Are you ready? Sure. Then buckle up. The development work focused on mobility and lifting capacity, and this crane has really mastered both. Firstly, it delivers great mobility all over the world on four axles due to its variable axle load states. The fact that it has four axles means that in some countries it's much easier to obtain road permits. Secondly, it's really powerful. It has a lifting capacity of up to 120 tons. That means it's actually competing with lots of five-axle cranes. And at 66 meters, it has the most powerful and longest boom ever fitted on a four-axle crane. So we can safely say there is nothing more on four. Like to take over? Sure. Driving it off-road is an absolute pleasure. Thanks to the latest chassis and drive technology, the crane drives very smoothly both on roads and at sites. Eco-drive and eco-mode significantly reduce fuel consumption and noise. Fantastic! Thanks, Florian! No problem! Our time-tested Vario ballast means that the ballast radius can be quickly adjusted mechanically. The large radius for heavy loads and the small radius for constricted sites. When combined with the Vario base support technology, this makes the crane incredibly flexible. It's available for delivery from the fall, but you can order it right now. When we unveil the LTM 1094.2, there were lots of surprised looks, and now we've done it again. In comparison with many other four-axle cranes, we position the front outriggers between axles 1 and 2. Yeah, why do we actually do this? Basically, because we believe the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. That's why we've done it. For example, it enables us to generate more space in the ballast storage zone on the undercarriage, and we use this space to achieve a larger ballast radius. That meant it was also possible to fit our two new four-axle cranes, the LTM 1094.2 and LTM 1124.1, with our innovative Vario ballast technology. So what does Vario ballast actually mean? Both cranes can operate with two ballast radii, a small one and a large one. Mechanically adjustable ballasting cylinders mean that there is no problem and in fact extremely easy to adjust these radii. If you're at a site where there is lots of space, and there are lots of them, probably the majority of sites, the large ballast radius shows its strength. The longer lever arm of the counterweight means that we can significantly reduce the amount of ballast weight required. Over 7 tons on the LTM 1120, for example. If we are at a small site where space is really at a premium, for example in a town or refinery or similar, then we can use a small ballast radius, making the cranes extremely compact. In fact, more compact than their predecessors. This outrigger configuration makes the chassis a bit longer overall. Doesn't that make things a little less compact and maneuverable? 
Admittedly, the chassis itself is a touch longer than its predecessor, but we have not compromised at all in terms of maneuverability. Quite the opposite, in fact. We have actually reached a super level, in some cases even better than the previous machines. And we have one more major benefit, that is the spacing between axles 2 and 3. We use this space for storage boxes. Here, for example, for chocks, and another one up here. If you wanted to take a packed lunch, you could put it in here, perhaps. And these storage boxes are normally mounted at the rear on the vehicle crate. So as they are no longer there, all in all, we have a more compact vehicle. Great, thanks very much for the explanation, Jan. You're welcome. At our customer days in 2018 for our compact crane, the LTC 1053.1, we unveiled the remote drive remote control. It enables the crane to be driven from outside the cab. The first cranes with this feature have now been delivered, so time to see it in action. Narrow, restricted, tight. Typical situations for crane operators at jobs inside buildings. The door entrance is just 3.15 meters high and extremely tricky. And driving through a factory that's in full operation is a real challenge. One machine tool has to be relocated and a new one installed. Remote drive is worth its weight in gold at a job like this, ensuring the safety of the crane and the surrounding area. The LTC in particular offers the feature that it can be reduced to a height of 3 meters very quickly, so that it can pass through entrances and constricted areas. We cannot direct the wind, but we can adjust the sails. When the Greek philosopher Aristotle said this, he was probably not thinking about cranes, but the wind is a significant factor for crane operation too. We can't direct the wind either, but we can make our machines fit and ready for stormy days by preparing new lifting capacity tables with higher maximum wind speeds. In the past, these lifting capacity tables were available for some of our lattice boom cranes, and now they also feature in our more recent LTM cranes. And they're a real help, reducing downtime, making planning easier, and enhancing safety. The lifting capacity tables for cranes generally apply to a gusting wind speed of up to 9 meters per second, measured at the boom head. All crane manufacturers have to work to this standard, but we've now placed more lifting capacity tables for additional wind speeds in the crane control system, so you can work when the wind is that bit stronger. For the LTM 1458.1 and the LTM 1658.1, for example, for speeds of 11.2, 13.4 and 15.6 meters per second. Our additional lifting capacity tables enable our cranes to stand firm like a rock in the surf, even when the sea has a reasonable swell. If the actual wind speed at a job exceeds the table value, the crane operator can simply switch to a lifting capacity table with a higher maximum wind speed, so that ideally he can carry on with the crane work. Our new LTM 1124.1 here also has these new tables. And, as usual, the crane models for which we provide wind speed lifting capacity tables can be retrofitted by your LeapHair service partner. New cranes and technologies are always something special, but what about old ones? When a 40-year-old LT-1030 tackles a job on a Greek island alongside a brand new LTM 1235.1, we think it's worth a trip to see them, even though the circumstances are not perfect at the moment. So, let's go to Crete. You must be crazy, they told Manolis Marnalakis, when he decided 35 years ago to bring a used Liebherr crane to Crete. The problem was how to get this extremely heavy machine from Eingen to the Greek island. Manolis didn't hesitate, hired a driver, and the two of them simply drove the 2600 kilometer distance. But there was no happy ending once they got back to Crete. Nobody had seen a machine like it before, so no orders were forthcoming. But news of the Colossus quickly spread, and soon the first orders for the cranes started to arrive. Today, the Mornalakis family has seven mobile cranes and employs 12 people. Their typical jobs include maintenance work on wind turbines, extending the motorway network, and hoisting boats. Often jobs come spontaneously by phone. As in many family-run businesses, all the sons are involved. And recently the company also received a new crane, the LTM 1235.1. 
narrow olive groves, deep gorges, rocky plateaus, steep roads and ramshackle bridges, mobility is absolutely essential here, but the new 5-axle is absolutely perfect for these conditions. Our service partner, Yanis Liakopoulos, is always on hand to help. He's almost part of the family. Available 24 hours a day, Yanis sources every spare part the company needs within 48 hours. Reliable service is a major reason for the company's success. Whether it's a new or used crane, training is provided every time. A trainer actually travels specially to Crete and show the whole family how to use every single system on the crane. There's now a saying on Crete, if Marna Lakis can't do it, nobody can. Really impressive pictures from Greece. And we've reached the end of today's edition. But don't worry, we'll be back in October, when we'll be looking at how our new LR1800 1.0 gets on with its new wind power equipment. See you soon!